you, Mr. Millet, and your government. And I'm going to explain the ba basis to open this based on international right, international law, and the law of our country. The main case, first case, is the case of a stealing a plane. Remember that this plane, Boeing 747-300M of Intrasur, was an aircraft belonging to the enterprise of Venezuela, Intrasur, took flights from Mexico to Argentina to transport cargoes of the Volkswagen brand delivered on June 6, 2022, and then the enterprise chain denied, refused to accomplish this contract that was prepared to provide fuel to the aircraft in the international airport of Isaiza. Ahead of this situation, the the crew flew to Uruguay to um, have fuel, and then the permission was denegated. Then the plane had to return to Buenos Aires. Back to Argentina, the authorities of that country took the plane and the arrested the 19 passengers, something unprecedented in the history of America. Five of them were for, from Iran. After months of prison, the crew was um, liberated uh, since they have been had been kidnapped. Literally, after several months, kidnapped. They didn't commit any crime. Once the plane was retained, the institution of civil aeronautics and issued an alert of provision of flying the aircraft, which was known for all the countries, in spite of what I expo was exposed before uh, due to an order of a judge of Argentina with the collaboration of the government, the aircraft was moved to the United States with a flight plan that had a flag of the United States. Shameful. Even in that, the flight plan, they committed crimes. Once the plane arrived in the United States, it was dismantled, which indignated the Venezuelan nation 100%. We repudiated the fact. We required information to Argentina and Uruguay about it, and we don't have answers yet. I would like to show a short video that remembers us what they did with this aircraft that belongs to Venezuela. Let's watch the video of the stolen plane. These are the last images of the Intrasur plane belonged, belonging of the Conviasa Airline of Venezuela before being stolen of the CESA airport where it was given up from June 2022.
truly something shameful, disgusting, all of this 